Jared Polin Fronos Photo. Dot com and this is your photo news fix. This fix is brought to you by Squarespace. My website, jaredpolin.com, is still built using Squarespace, and I wouldn't use anything else if you're a photographer or a creative. It's simple, easy, affordable, and you don't need to know any coding. I still don't know coding. I'm never gonna know coding. Now, to get a 14-day free trial without a credit card, go to squarespace.com slash photo. and if you decide that it's for you, use the code photo at checkout to get 10% off your first order. First up, I have an amazing picture to share with you that's been billions and billions of years in the making. This is the first photo ever captured of a black hole. And guess what? It's out of focus. You had one job. Find a black hole that no one's ever seen or photographed in history and photograph it in focus. It's not like it's 311 million trillion miles away or 55 million light years in a galaxy called Messier 87. Dan, I think it's Messier like Mark Messier. Let me put it this way. The scene in this image took place 55 million years ago since it took 55 million years for that light to reach Earth. This monster black hole measures only 25 billion miles across. Wow. To put that into perspective, if you drove around the Earth 40 times, that would only be one million miles. What a hole. Now, I wanted to put a flat Earth and creationist joke in here. Everybody knew the Earth was flat. But I couldn't think of anything right now, so if you have something to say, please leave it down below. Imagine what you know. Tomorrow. So how did this all come about? Well, through a collaboration of over 200 international astronomers using a planet-scale array of eight ground-based telescopes, the EHT, or Event Horizon Telescope, has announced they have succeeded in capturing an image of a black hole. Will someone tell them they failed? Because it's out of focus. Dan, it's out of focus. Kind of like Steven used to be straight out of focus. He's now in focus, not so much back then. The image was compiled from petabytes of raw data. Now you see that people who don't shoot raw, they shoot raw, and with the help of supercomputers, it was turned into the out of focus image we see right here. Basically, the moral of the story is Einstein was right with his general theory of relativity. I discovered the formula for splitting beer atoms. I still don't know what that is, Dan. I had to jump in here real quick and say I was kidding about it not being in focus. It is an amazing feat of science and technology that was able to accomplish something that's never been accomplished before, and all the joking about it being out of focus is just a joke. Next up, Canon has announced a new camera that's bound to piss off a lot of people who are waiting for something that's not this. Introducing Canon's smallest and lightest DSLR ever, the EOS Rebel SL3, or EOS 250D, or the KISS X10. Or can we have any more names for this camera? Why can't you just have one name to rule them all? Here are the specs. It uses a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor that's the same that the SL2 used, but this time it has a Digic 8 processor. Eye detection when using dual pixel AF, which the only way that you can actually use dual pixel AF because this is a DSLR is to be in live view, which I, I don't recommend doing because you look kind of silly holding your camera out like this trying to get pictures. I really wanted to call them morons, Dan, but I didn't want to offend anybody. There's improved battery life, five frames per second burst rate, a three inch vary angle touch screen, and crippled 4K video recording that uses a 2.64X crop. That means an 18 millimeter kit lens at 18 will feel like 47 millimeters. That's what she said. On top of that, you lose dual pixel AF and you're stuck with regular contrast detection. Basically, you're not gonna wanna shoot this camera in 4K. Now, if this sounds like a camera for you, there's good news. You can choose between two colors you can get a black body or you could go with a white body for a price of $600 when you get body only or $750 with the kit lens. People in the camera industry tend to shit all over entry level cameras like this, but the truth of the matter is they sell more entry level cameras than anything else. This is the crack that gets people hooked to then find my videos. So leave them alone. Canon was kind enough to release an official introduction video that's pretty painful to watch 
they probably should have hired me to have written the script instead of whoever they hired in the first place. Let me set the scene for you. A cliche Brady Bunch father is sitting on his porch waiting for his wife to bring him some lemonade, all while he uses what looks like a screwdriver, but it's actually a rocket air to blow away what's probably cocaine from last night's party. I'm trying to do drugs. Next, it cuts to the kids playing soccer with the dog. The more important son is smiling while dribbling a soccer ball, while the less important one is upset, making pretend he's taking pictures with what looks to be a wood camera, or maybe it's a Pentax. Cut to the defeated kid who's wondering why he can't have a real camera like his dad, and he's stuck with a wood camera, but, but wait, dad left a door open to his room, and there's the camera. I have an idea. Why don't I steal it and sneak off into the park to get pictures of everything? And then the pictures can float away into the sky. Amazing. Along the way, he learns a very important lesson that a guy with a camera can hit on random girls with dogs in the park, kind of like I do. And in the final scene, the dad finds the kid in the park and tells him, it's okay you stole the camera. Let's walk this way. And when we get over the hill, I'm going to beat your ass for stealing my camera so you never do it again. And that's the story of the Canon SL3. Next up, it looks like photos and specs of the Zeiss Otis 100mm f1.4 lens have leaked. I couldn't have asked for a better specimen. Great, just what the world needs. Another $5,000 manual focus lens that weighs over three pounds. Total block. Or in Canada, it's more. Something. Now I'm sure this is going to be a super sharp lens and people are going to yell at me for saying that I shouldn't buy something like this because honestly if you're watching this you're probably not buying a $5,000 Otis anyway. It's just going to be a waste of money in my opinion. It's not what you like. It's the consumer. Maybe it will be useful for shooting video, but honestly, I would never spend $5,000 on a manual lens, just like I won't be buying the Nikon 58mm Noct, which we don't even know the price of yet. And honestly, that's all I have to say about that. What do you have to say about this lens? And finally, we have the official release of firmware 3.0 for the Sony A7R 3 and the A7 III. Basically, these two cameras are gaining similar features to the updated A9 and the new A6400. You will get active IAF when you press the shutter button halfway down when shooting stills. Sadly, unlike Fuji, Panasonic, and Canon, you won't have real-time IAF for video or the A9's real-time tracking for stills. 3.0 also adds the ability to have IAF for cats and dogs, though I wonder how well it will work on my cat Sammy Davis Jr. Kitty. Sony also said we will see updates to allow IAF for different animals in the future. What animals would you like to see? Let me know. It's like a lion and a tiger mix. And the last major feature addition to 3.0 is interval shooting is now built in. It's back. Because it once was there and, and then it wasn't and, and now it is. This means you no longer need to use an external intervalometer to do time lapse. The Sony A9 will get this feature and animal IAF in the summer with a firmware version update called 6.0. Now, is this a big deal? Let me know your thoughts down below. And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. To check out the last fix, go ahead and click on the screen right here. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And if you haven't checked out the 1 million subscriber video, go ahead and check it out. Jared Poland, Froknowsphoto.com. See ya.